of knowing. All right, man. Welcome to Crow 777 Radio. This is a bumper for episode 306.5. This is a .5 episode. Uh, the full interview, the .5 interview that we do with Jason, myself, Chris Van Maitre, and Cammie Nodell will run for members only, but we will tell you exactly what happened here. Uh, Jason recently did a gig at the Solar Return Festival where he bumps into Chris Van Maitre. To give you the backstory, in spring of 2015, I first filmed The Sun You Don't See. Some years later, Chris Van Maitre with a sol- hydrogen alpha solar scope replicates what I do. He's now replicated it in Colorado, in Houston, and in South Carolina where the festival was, showing a different position for The Sun You Don't See each time. But uh, Jason put me on the phone with him at the festival, and I told him I was going to start picking up filming again this spring. Um, cause I should be recovered enough to lift up the scope, which is pretty big. Um, and I suggested to him that we try to get polarized light filters on our hydrogen alpha telescopes to film the sun. Lo and behold, Cami Nodell was there who makes a habit of using polarized light filters. And she had some big ones the next day, Chris and Cami, and I'm not sure who else go out, film with the solar scope, see the sun we don't see, or the second sun what I'm currently calling the spiritual sun, and they put a polarized filter on it, and they eclipsed it away. Now, we go into great detail with Cami, who's an expert on these things, uh, about what that means. Suffice it to say, I think we're not far away from being able to claim, um, like the lunar wave, this is the real deal, and there's no telling me otherwise. Uh, This test is very meaningful. So, this clip you're listening to here will also run in the free area of Crow777Radio.com. Members at Crow777Radio.com can log in and get the full episode. Uh, and this is wholly about censorship. My YouTube's picking up strikes again. Clips are getting removed. It's a whole thing, and I'm about done with it. I will be launching a new website soon, and probably all the video that I run, only bumpers will ever see YouTube, and I'll make a, a video area on my site. Um, did I get all that, Jason? You did, and the one thing I will add in is that uh, while Chris did film the second sun, or the spirit sun as you're going to call it, in both Colorado and Houston, when he did it in South Carolina, it was not off to the side like it was even when you shot it, but it was directly beneath it, which was very interesting because for all the naysayers who were just saying, oh, that's, that's something just going on inside the lenses, some kind of reflection or whatnot, wouldn't that always be the exact same thing every time? I don't know exactly, but it sounds like it's uh, lending a lot more credence to it being an actual object at this point. Yeah, well, the, the, for me, that's true. Everything you just said is true, but the kind of <laughs> icing on the cake here is that the polarizing filter made it disappear. You can't make the sun we see with our eyes disappear with a polarizing light filter, and Cami describes what that means. Um, it proves it's an object. We'll get into it. There's a whole explanation that comes behind. But in this clip, we will also provide the directions that Second Sun that you don't see has been shot in and where it was located so people can go out and look. First couple times, it was a sun and a half up and about two and a half suns to the left. Both times I shot it and Chris. The next time it was slightly different, but the last time they shot it, it was directly below the sun we see with our eyes. But there it is. Um, the full clip will be running for members at crow 7 radiocom C-R-R-O-W-777 radio.com. Um, we hope to see you there, man. I'd like to wish you all a happy, healthy, and higher-minded new era. Cheers.
been a beast of knowing.